Yo, YouTube. I'm gonna start another video. Today I didn't record today, but I'm about to record my little night, nightly routine. I need something to prop the camera against. So I'm gonna put this right here. So my nightly routine, oh shoot. My nightly routine is elaborate but simple. Um, there's a selection of things that I do throughout throughout it. I started at a certain time as well. Today I started late because I was enjoying my time with my sisters and my family. So <sighs> kind of starting off bad, but I just got done with a little workout. Um, I didn't do what I intended to do. But as long as I try and do something that pertains to that area, it's all good. That's the that's just me developing that habit of doing something rather than doing nothing for me. So I did instead of like a four instead of doing sets, I did um, fifteen pull ups. I just basically just maxed out what I could do. Um, yeah. So after I do my workout, I usually take a shower and come back and journal. And then I plan out my next day. So this is this is my little planner. No, this is the journal. And then this is the planner. So in the planner, I got the plan for the day and whether or not I accomplished it or learned a lesson because every failure is a lesson if you uh, acknowledge it with the right mindset. So I journal first to get my thoughts on paper so that my mind is clear. And then, hold on, I'm making this video. And then I go ahead and schedule, I go ahead and create my planner. So I call it a, a bare maximum requirement planner. Call it a bare maximum requirement plan. Now, what a bare maximum requirement is, I make this up. I got it from Steve Lacey on one of his songs where he said something about just doing the bare maximum. Let me pull it up real quick. What? Yeah, I gotta finish this real quick. Let me see. I bet. So bare maximum requirement, a bare maximum requirement is things that must be done before I go to sleep. This is a concept inspired by the 1% rule, which is to be 1% better than what you were the day before. A bare maximum requirement is simply one habit slash task that must be done before you go to sleep. There are a number of habits that I want to devote to my to the enhancement of my character, but trying to implement all of them at once is difficult to be consistent with. So I'm breaking everything down. I'll do my best to complete my other habits, but no matter what, the BMR must be done. So no matter what, before you go to sleep, you always have to do the BMR, which is the bare maximum requirement. That's just something to keep you consistent. So that's what I'm working on right now. And um, so I use my, after I get done journaling, I use my journal to help me with my planning. Cause in my journal, I write down ideas cause a lot of things be in my head. So instead of writing it on my planner, I write it in my journal and then have my planner organized. So that's what I'm doing right now. And then after I get with, done with this, I shower. I also read. I read a chapter, uh, a chapter every night. If you're spiritual, get you this book, Sacred Journey by Dan Millman. If you're spiritual, get you this book. If you want uh, something to read to help you on your journey, to give you insight on, on your life, this is a really good book. I just finished this book in Jamaica. So what I'm on now, what I'm on now is The Richest Man in Babylon. Now, my previous chapter of my life, I was on this spiritual quest. So that that's why I was reading this. Now I'm on off to the millions, right? I got I got my foundation set, right? So now it's time to, be, to develop my, my wealth brain, my money brain. 
You see what I'm saying? So I'm on to this. And every night what I do, in order to really retain the information, I'll read a chapter a night. And then the next night, I'll go back, read that chapter again, and then move on to the next chapter. And then I'll just repeat that cycle every night. But yeah, so I'm about to read this. And after I get done reading this, I go meditate. I don't have a timer on how long I meditate. I just go in there, meditate for as long as I can comfortably. Um, sometimes I might challenge myself to go a little bit longer. And then um, I might, I'll go to sleep. And usually when I read and meditate, I'll be having like vivid dreams. So yeah, I like I like doing that little process. But yeah, that's basically it. That's my, that's my nightly routine.